This is Overland Expo East. And these are my shoes. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you subscribe. If you are already subscribed, then you and I are probably best friends. Walking around Overland Expo East today for the first time, I'm gonna share it with you guys, but first, gotta make a quick pit stop. Separated at birth, reunited at long last. So in addition to the probably hundreds of vendors, we've got expedition skills training with all kinds of little obstacle courses to hone your off-roading skills, as well as an education activity area. So something for everyone. I didn't sign up for anything here, but maybe I'll have to do that next year, see what it's all about. These look like they were made for my truck or what? I believe this is the first time I've ever seen a Hilux in person here at the ARB booth. Hilux D4D, no idea what that means. Something with diesel, I'm sure. Check this thing out. Love to get my hands on one of these one day. Oh look, TRD Sport Owners, a functional hood scoop. This thing is wicked. Looks like it's well used too, which I love. Now I'm not gonna lie, this ZR2 does look pretty sweet. You guys know I love that color. Check this thing out. We'll see if it's still on the road in five years. I'd love to get some kind of flatbed like this for my truck. What do you guys think? Comment below. Still here at the ARV booth, really digging this sort of tie-in between the bumper. Look at the support right here down the side, a couple inches off the fender, all the way down into the sliders. Love to get something like this for my truck. Oh, this event is gonna kill my checking account. Who needs savings? Aren't these just the cutest things you ever saw? I feel the exact same way after driving my Tacoma for more than three hours at a time. <laughs> Drilled into the hood. Yikes. Bet you a hundred bucks it's still more capable than a Ridgeline. are the same tires I'm running but in a 35. Sign of things to come? Who knows.
Good news with this setup is the RAV4 actually fits inside the rooftop tent for when it rains. Here at the Dobinson's booth, how's this for a cool way to safely work on your truck? Attaches right to the lug nuts, you are good to go, no jack stands, no worrying about anything slipping. Nice. Check out this sweet setup on this Tacoma. Full box here on the back. Looks like it detaches so it's a flatbed also, love this. Definitely sweet, probably ridiculously expensive also. Yoda Mafia truck has officially been spotted. This is definitely the first wide body Tundra I've seen. Looks like definitely front and I think in back maybe like plus two. Looks pretty good if you ask me. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. And if you were wondering where all the Baja Designs lights went, this guy bought them. I wanted to see one of these in person for the longest time and you guys know I love the color. Was that for custom paint, guys? <laughs> this actually is paint. It's not like rusted. You can feel it. It is smooth as hell. It is really cool looking, actually. Even back here. It's a nice finish. Or it was just sanded down to bare metal and clear coated a few times. Either way, I love it. That's right, you saw it, and now you can't unsee it. All right, everybody, it's about three o'clock, getting ready to head home for my first Overland East experience. I think I probably walked about five to 10 miles today. If you've never been to one of these, I definitely encourage you to check it out. It was tons of fun, tons of vendors. You have all the vendor stuff to see. There's the regular parking lot, which is what I am in. You can just see, just panning around real quick. Tons of stuff here. And then you have the camping parking lot with there's, I mean, there's unlimited builds. It's just really fun to see how people trick out their stuff for whatever they need, whether it's a Tacoma or anything else. So if you've never been before, I definitely encourage you to check it out, either on the East Coast or the West Coast. I'm sure I'll be back next year. And I think, I think it's even held in the same place in Arrington, Virginia. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.